everyone. Have you heard about the term graphene? No. Um, okay. No. It must be new because it's a kind of new material. So today I'm going to tell you three things about graphene. First, the definition. Second, the discovery of this new material. And thirdly, its application. But first of all, um, graphene is an atom-thick planar sheet of sp2 bonded atoms that are densely packed in a honeycomb crystal lattice. What does this mean? <laughs> to simply put it, it's a sing single layer of carbon atoms that are made out of graphite, as the name suggests. And so what's so special about this new material called graphite? Well, first of all, it's a thickness. It's a 0.34 nanometer thin, a thick, so um, as considering the nanometer is a billionth of a meter, it's like really, really thin. And Secondly, uh, its thermal conductivity is the best among the materials ever known, and its, element, el its electrons movement is 100 times faster than that of silicon, and breaking strength of it is 200 times stronger than that of steel. As this number suggests, it, this is really special. But the most interesting thing is that if you fold it half or you roll it, it doesn't matter, you can keep using it. And uh, moving on to my next point, well, the discovery of this new material. Well, it was first officially defined in the, new, in the chem chemistry uh, literature in 1994 by the IUPAC, which is International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry. However, the real finding of this new material is done in 2004, when physicists from the University of Manchester and uh, Institute for Microelectronics Technology worked together and found a way to synthesize this new material. And uh, it's just the beginning of the story. It has gained uh, much more popularity. And a site called arxib.org, which com captures only a fraction of journal submission, shows over a thousand papers were written about graphene from 2004 to 2007. But there are other many sites like this, so you can do the math how, how popular this graphene new material is. And <clears throat> my last point, its application. Well. Uh, there, uh, graphene can be used in various ways, but I'm going to tell you the only touching one that you guys can feel most usable. Well, most of you guys have iPod or MP3 players, so, but don't you feel that the screen is too small to see the sub subtitles and all the images? Well, maybe you guys don't see the subtitles, but, well, but uh, with the new fantastic material called graphene, you can have like this big screen, and you can just fold it half to this small, then you can just put it in your pocket. How amazing this is! <laughs> <laughs> and to sum up my speech, well, first I've told you the definition of graphene, that it is a single layer carbon atoms that are made, that it is made of graphite. And secondly, it's discovery that it was first synthesized in 2004. And thirdly, it's amazing application. Thank you for listening.